Now that you've customized your Infusionsoft landing page to your liking, um, it's time to go ahead and set up your thank you page. So what you're gonna do is in the lower right corner, you're gonna hit next step, and it's gonna take you to this page here to set your redirect destination. Now on the left, you can redirect to an external URL. So if there's a thank you page on your website you'd like to direct them to, or maybe you wanna direct them to a P the PDF or ebook directly, then you can paste that link in here. Or if you want, you can design a thank you page. I'm gonna go ahead and click design thank you page just so we can see what that next step looks like here. And this is the default thank you page. Um, so you can go ahead and do the same thing that we did in our video where I showed you how to edit the layout, where you can add additional text, images, buttons, or you can add specific sections in here. So for example, um, usually with the thank you page, as a best practice, I like to direct them somewhere else as well, or give them a video to watch or something to that effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this section here and I'm gonna move the copyright section down to the bottom. Uh, whoops, oh, yeah, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go, let's move that down and okay, that's kind of weird. I'm gonna delete section three then. Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> um, okay, hang on. I guess you can edit different rows here. Um, let me go ahead and try this one more time. I accidentally deleted the copyright option at the bottom, but that's okay. Where was that? Okay, I liked this section. Okay, perfect. So we'll say, thank you, your ebook's on its way. Please check your email. You can even include steps in here on, um, on how they can find this in their email, check your spam folder, stuff like that. Now this guy here, um, this is actually pretty cool. You can put an image URL on here. So this is a computer by default um, that it doesn't have anything really else in the background. So I would want to replace this with a image that I already have in here of our websites. Let me see if I can find the image here. Here we go. Here's one. Oh, the background's not removed on it. So um, if you run into this issue, you can go back into the styling. Let's see, and I'm gonna remove that background image and I'm gonna make the background color white. There we go. Okay, so on here, what I want them to do is I want them to browse our, our real estate website. So I'm gonna say um, something along the effects of, um, let's see, I'm gonna do brew standard websites. That is really big, so I'm gonna shrink that down Whoops. So I'm gonna say get a real estate website, custom built. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this little button a learn more button. Whoops. Let's do learn more. Okay, and you can have it linked to a URL. And these buttons, um, you can actually have these anchor to a different section on the page. So if there's another form or more information that you wanna link them to, you can actually anchor it. So when they click on this button, it takes them to another part of the landing page. And then you can paste the link that you want them to go to change the color and style of the button. Um, so these are all pretty much going to be repetitive editing tools once you get more familiar with the platform. Style, spacing, colors, um, that's gonna pretty much repeat. But with the thank you page, um, it's always the best practice to get them to go back to your website and interact with something else too. Um, so kind of a fun thing there on editing your landing page. You can also give them the option to register for something else. Um, or you can, like we said before, on this form redirect options, you can also put in a link to an external URL if you have a different landing page already set up that you want them to go to. And that is setting up your thank you page on these Infusionsoft 
uh, landing page forms.